You have said before, whatever kind of coach you became, it was because of Duke University. So why do you say that? Oh, I owe so much to Duke University. Uh, after NFL 10 years, well, Steve, what are you going to do? Well, what am I going to do? I said, you know what? I, I think I may want to try coaching. I think I've watched, I've been around some good coaches, and I've been around some bad ones. Mm -hmm. You know, we learn from good and bad. And uh, maybe if I got an opportunity to be, be a coach in college, it doesn't seem like work because you, you're anxious to get to the office every day and uh, try to teach your players how to play the game and this, that, and the other. So uh, Coach Dickey at Florida gave me an opportunity. We all got fired after the first year. <laughs> and Pepper Rogers had an opening. His quarterback just happened to leave. So I got to go to uh, Atlanta for one year with Coach Pepper Rogers, and then they let him go. And I'd met Coach Red Wilson at Duke during spring recruiting mm -hmm. in Atlanta. Uh, the year before, and uh, actually Coach Rogers let me call the plays when we played Duke, and, and we really? scored 24, which was a lot for Georgia, Georgia Tech, Tech that year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so anyway, I, I got in touch with uh, Coach Wilson, and he hired me as offensive coordinator my third year ever as an assistant coach. So really grateful for Duke, and you know a lot of my buddies said, Steve, you can't win at Duke. Nobody wins at Duke. Go somewhere where you can win if you want a coaching career. And I said, well, guess what? They're the only school that's offered me a chance. So I'm going to go there and give it the best I got. And uh, hopefully we can make winners there and, and move on or whatever. And, uh, but then I had a chance to come back again after the USFL folded. I had an opening here. And uh, Tom Butters hired me back in uh, 1987. So I had three wonderful years here. And, of course, culminating with the ACC championship team of 89. Right. That uh, is still remembered fondly, maybe the most fondly, mm -hmm. of any Duke team ever, that 1989 uh, team. What was the key to its success? Scott, it was a very interesting year because we opened up uh, one and three. And now, back in those days, we played six road games mm -hmm. and five home games. <laughs> uh, we, we had to go get a paycheck, as Mr. <laughs> yeah. Butter said, to keep the football program going. Now, we'd lost at Tennessee, at South Carolina, and, and at Virginia, which was a very good team that year also. Uh, and then we had Clemson coming to town. They were 4-0. And it was uh, we had one of those emotional meetings. We're going to give it all we got. Uh, I learned back in uh, college from one of our assistant coaches, Gene Ellison, that if you get the players to sign the chalkboard or grease board, that I'll give all I can to help my team try to win the game today. And so we had everybody sign the board, going to give it all literally some through the end of the game. And we're down 14 nothing at half, and then some miracles happened in that game. But anyway, we win the game and then win the rest of the conference games and uh, win the ACC championship. Eight and three, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and Duke was mm -hmm. winning, used to winning before you got here, a couple of games a year maybe, uh, so that was mm -hmm. huge. Took a famous picture at the scoreboard uh, at Keenan Stadium mm -hmm. uh, when y'all would beat them, beat UNC 41 to nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was, uh, that's the one that people still remember fondly here, not so fondly, and at the other shade of blue mm -hmm. in Chapel Hill. Are you glad you took that picture in uh, 89? Scott, we didn't take that picture because we beat North Carolina. They were a sorry team that year. I think they were one in ten. Uh, we took that picture because we're ACC champs. I see. And uh, earlier, uh, we beat Maryland at Maryland. I think it was like 45 to 26. And uh, as we were leaving, uh, one of our assistant coaches, Jim Collins, his wife always on the sideline taking pictures with her camera and so forth. And uh, I said, Jerry, we're going to get the team under the scoreboard. We have beaten Maryland at Maryland, first time since 1960. So it's 29 years since that had happened. <laughs> and uh, so the guys are, everybody had already left. We'd, we'd beaten them pretty good. And, and all the players were giving it thumbs up. As so I came in the locker room, I never will forget, I said, now, fellas, if we win the rest of them, we're going to take a picture at Chapel Hill because we'll be ACC champs. And, uh, and we talked about before the season yeah. uh, that uh, there's a, if we get on a roll, we could win the ACC championship. So we, we got on a roll, and actually we went in the locker room after that game in North Carolina, and one of the players said, Coach, how about the pitcher? Oh. I said, dang, let's go. <laughs> so we hustled out. Hardly anybody was in the stands. Uh, but fortunately, the clock operator left the score up there. That was so nice. I, yeah. I want to thank him for doing that.